Access open houses the same as you do now. Open your listing in the Add Edit system, and then click the Open Houses link. This is the opening screen. At the top, we have the listing address and MLS number. And over here to the left is the exit arrow if we want to leave and go back to the main Add Edit screen. This little informational eye opens the Help screen. Click Close to go back. To add an open house, we're going to click this blue circle with the plus sign. First up is the open house type. We default to public, but of course you can switch to broker with a simple click. We have a new field, open house agent. The open house agent is whoever you want to be the contact person for any questions other agents have about this open house. This is especially handy for teams where the list agent is not necessarily the agent who is managing the open house. It defaults here to the list agent, but you can change it to any active agent. Just clear out the list agent and then start typing either the name or agent ID. Once they pop up in the list below, make the selection and the rest of their information autofills. Next up are the open house date and time. The date autofills with today's date, but you can click in the box to type in your date or select it from the pop-up calendar. Both the start and end times are drop downs. Just click in each to make your selections. Another new feature is the open house frequency. Now you can schedule a series if the open house is going to occur more than once. The default is one time, so if you're going to schedule just a single open house, leave that selected. Otherwise, click to select series. A couple more options display. First, select which days of the week you want the open house to occur. I'm going to pick Saturday and Sunday. Next, enter the end date for your series. I'm going to schedule my open houses for this listing every Saturday and Sunday for the next two weeks. So, for my end date, I will enter the date of that final Sunday of the two-week period. And then finally, I can select if I'm serving any refreshments, and also enter a description if I choose. My open house fields are all completed and I'm ready to save it. I will always find the Save button up here in the upper right of the screen. My open house series is saved. Note that I have a separate card on this screen for each open house in the series. Also, this small stacked card icon indicates that the open house is part of a series. Now, I can edit or delete individual open houses within the series or the entire series of open houses at once. To edit, simply click on the card. Because this is part of a series, I get this option here to edit just this one open house or the entire series. Let's edit the whole series. I'm going to change my end time and then save. Note that the end time has changed on all of the open houses in that series. To delete an open house, click this trash icon on the card. If it's a single open house event, you'll be asked to confirm. If it's part of a series, as this one is, you'll select whether to delete just that one date or the entire series. Let's delete just this one date. That open house is now removed, but the rest of the open houses in the series remain.